Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, welcome to your tarot love readings. We are going to take a look at a you versus them tarot spread and take a look at what's happening here. Um, it is going to be general reading, so guys, please just keep that in mind throughout this spread. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address along with all the information that you will need. So we will begin with you here, um, Fire Signs. So the reading here, once again, is intended for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And of course, to all our cross-watching buddies as well. So let's begin with you here, um, and then we'll move over to your connecting energy here, whether it's your partner, husband, romantic energy, your crush, whomever this connecting energy is for you. Okay, let's start off with you though first. Let's see what's going on with you. And we'll also finish up on some love advice and see... What is coming through here? Okay, you've got the you've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Emperor here, and the Star card. Okay, straight away I'm seeing that someone is being a little bit stubborn here. Um, okay, so but let's begin with the Eight of Pentacles here. This is I'm seeing you're you're very invested. You're very invested emotionally here. You're very invested into into a connection. You're very into someone here. Um, I'm seeing commit commitment, a strong strong level of commitment, high standards here when it comes to relationship here. Um, you're very dedicated, committed to making something work, or manifesting a relationship, or bringing you know uh, true love into into your life, into existence here. You're very fixated on trying to work something out. For some of you, there could be a, uh, a resolution that you're seeking to some sort of conflict. For others of you, maybe there's a, an emotional connection that you want to work, a bond or a connection that you want to strengthen here. A relationship goal that you want to achieve here, right? Um, some of you, you feel as though you're... Like your relationship here could be testing you. You may find that you may find I'm getting that you know that there's the pentacles here have two sides, right? There are two sides to every pentacle. So for some of you, you may find that your relationship is testing you in a sense where this person is maybe surprising you here. Um, with like there's that's not to say the two faced but there's different i mean there's different sides to people right um and you you are discovering like your your partner your romantic interest is surprising you or something about the connection is surprising you whereas it's throwing in new challenges or setbacks or you're learning you're making new discoveries um about your partner here so but you're committed to this it's like you're committed to keeping your commitment to to you know to making this work to fixing some of you are trying to repair or fix a problem here um you you, you want to make it work you're very focused you're very driven come hell or high water kind of energy and with the queen of swords okay uh, i'm seeing that you're wanting communication i feel like you're really wanting some of you i feel like you're wanting to communicate with someone here maybe this person isn't necessarily communicating with you um or maybe there's no proper there's a lack of proper communication here um the Queen of Swords is someone who's very honest, she's very independent, she's very principled, very constructive, fair, she can be critical, objective, very perceptive as well. Um, so the card here is, whenever she pops up, you know, to me, she is, she's trying to teach us a lesson here uh, on the importance of making a judgment call, but without having to rely on emotions here. So for some of you, you could be trying to, you know, you're wanting communication or you're wanting for something to happen or you're wanting to fix something are you coming from a place of emotion or are you coming from a place of logic here would it make sense if you were to fix and work on this 
I don't know. Would it? I'm asking you. Um, does it make sense if this person comes in with an apology? Um, does it make sense if you're the one that's just trying to make it work? Does it make sense if you're the one that's wholeheartedly committed and the other person doesn't? Do you know what I mean? So it's all about make, trying to make important decisions about um, without having to just to rely on your emotion instead lean in on logic here. Because I can see someone is offering resistance here. Maybe you feel as though your partner is putting up some resistance, some boundaries, or you feel as though they're stubborn, they're stuck in their ways. Um, maybe they're not as flexible here or not as adaptable, as adaptable as you are. With the star card, there is a need for you to be really honest here. Not only with your connecting energy, which we're going to take a look at in a moment, but with yourself, okay? And again, don't come from a place of emotion because emotion has this tendency, you know, emotions cloud and veil our visions. Um, they cloud and veil our judgment cause and sometimes, you know, our, therefore our judgment becomes clouded because we come from a place of an emotional standpoint rather than a logical standpoint. So some of you, you are asking deep and personal questions, especially at this point in your time with regards to a romantic connection or a relationship or even within yourself. And it's important. I mean, for some of you, maybe you're, you know, you keep having the same type of a relationship with different with a different person, but essentially the same type of relationship. There are holding patterns. There is something that you are doing I don't want to point the you know, finger of blame, but there is something that you are doing that you could possibly be doing differently here. Um, but let's move over to your connecting energy, who does feel a little bit stubborn or is offering up resistance, and let's see what's going on with them. So you're welcoming communication. You want to know what's going on. You want honesty here. You value honesty here. Okay, with the Ten of Wands, with the Five of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, with the Ten of Wands... Okay, this person may have a bit of a. Uh, I'm seeing a bit of aggression on their on their side here. Now let's begin with the ten of wands. They this is a bit of a burdensome energy. Okay, I feel like the person here is someone who. I don't know if they feel as though relationship, this relationship or this connection is starting to feel burdensome, or this person isn't necessarily fulfilling his his or her responsibilities or obligations within the connection. Um, there's this, to me, I don't know why, but they feel like they're exhausted or they're burdened here or they're burning out. Not necessarily from the connection. It could be something else. It could be due to work or it could be due to the fact that this person is under so much pressure and they don't from wherever this pressure is coming from, but they don't know how to deal with it. And as a result, you know, it's it's spilling over here and it's affecting their personal lives, their personal endeavors, the relationship, the connection being one of them here. So this person is acting a certain way. Um, they may feel stubborn or rigid or um, they may also feel argumentative or temperamental or quite moody or irritable, frustrated here. Not necessarily because of what's going on with the connection, but I feel like there are external factors that are influencing or causing them to feel this way. Now, they may be shouldering a lot of responsibilities here with the Ten of Wands, or they are shouldering a lot of... Um, there's something here that's on their mind, or there's something here that's affecting them, but this person isn't telling you. They're keeping their cards close to their chest here. They're a little bit closed off. This is someone who keeps to him or herself here. Um, they, they're struggling with something here is what I'm seeing. They're struggling and there's this conflict. They don't know how to tell you. They don't know how to deal with it. They don't know how to come forward. They don't know what action to take. They're, they're doing what they have to do to get things done, but I don't know that it's going to warrant the best results for them. Um, for, for them, I feel like there's... Maybe they need something to lighten their worries here, like a conversation, something that will bring the two of you closer together here. Okay, I feel like they need to focus on themselves. They need to take care of themselves here from what I'm seeing. With the Five of Wands, I feel like maybe they they, they feel as though they're having, they're having to compete for your love or they're having to compete against someone here. It's like a competitive kind of energy or they feel like there's you know, something about this relationship, like they're struggling. I'm not sure if they're struggling to try and make this relationship work or they're struggling in... Um, they're struggling in other areas and other facets of their life here. And unfortunately, it's sort of weighing them down. I feel like they're struggling here is what I'm seeing. It 
could also be a clash of the egos though. This person can be quite fiery or quite temperamental here. This person can sort of, you know, um, their sort of their temper can flare up out of almost out of nowhere at times, and they may tend to uh, they can be a bit dramatic or tend to over dramatize things and overreact a little bit theatrical here. Now with the Seven of Cups, I'm seeing that this person isn't necessarily looking at things realistically here. With the Seven of Cups, I feel like this person is. Um, you know, they could, this is illusion here, they may be seeing things that aren't necessarily there, they may be indulging in some wishful thinking, they could also, I'm also seeing that this person is emotionally scattered here, I'm, I'm getting an emotionally scattered energy, I feel like maybe they have someone else around them, because this is also options, you know, having options or having people to, um, to choose from. I feel like this person doesn't know what actions to take. I feel like they have a hard time committing to something um, simply because I feel like they're a little bit scattered. They're a little bit um, all over the place. Like they're thinking about all these things that they could do to improve the relationship or improve the situation, but they're not committing to a decision. They're not committing to an action here. Um, Because to me, maybe they felt that the relationship was going to be different to what it is. Or maybe they felt that they were going to be different to how they currently are. Something key is not what it seems for them. Something key feels different. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, which tells me that things will change. Okay, things will change on their part. This is, I feel like, is only a temporary... Um, it's, uh, this is only temporary, whatever it is that they're going through. But I'm also seeing that change needs to happen, Okay. There, there must be no resistance to that change. And I feel like maybe this person is offering up some sort of resistance is what I'm seeing. They're trying to fight something here. They're trying to fight the change that's coming. They're trying to fight something that's coming here. They know it's coming. It's bound for them. But it's like they're trying to fight it off. I don't know why. Because they're scared to face the consequences. Let's see what love advice is coming in just very quickly here for the two of you and where to go from here. The Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Okay, the Three of Pentacles is a shared energy. It's a pulling energy. So, you know, if you want to make it work, I'm getting that you're going to have to cooperate with one another. I'm getting that you're really going to have to cooperate with one another. Communication is first and foremost really important because it does promote trust here. Now, with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands in reverse here, I'm seeing that there is, this person I feel like it can be a little bit moody or is dealing with I'm getting jealousy or temperamental here. I am. So this person needs to learn to deal with their emotions because I feel like sometimes they can overreact or maybe this is you, your energy. Maybe you're the one that's got that jealous streak. Um, there's a sense of moodiness or even like a vengeful kind of behavior, jealousy here. That person, whoever this is, needs to learn to, learn to control and stabilize his or her emotions because that's going to impact the relationship greatly and not in a good way either. So cooperate with one another, maybe also seek, you know, help from outside, someone who's impartial to the situation here. Um, and I feel like that person can maybe offer you some good solid advice. Otherwise, there you have it, guys. I just want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. Um, for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to inquire. Otherwise, guys, do take care. Keep safe. I will catch up with you later in the week.